here. And today we're doing a Alice in Wonderland Urban Decay palette look. Okay, that was kind of all over the place. Um, but it's like this blue turquoise kind of halo eye with some silver glitter in the center of the lid and in the inner corner. So if you have not seen the Alice in Wonderland Urban Decay palette, like where have you been? So this is the front like cover and then you open the front of the palette and you get a small mirror and on the mirror it says we're all mad here and then here we've got like a little kind of book thing and on the book it says I'm not strange, weird, off, nor crazy. My reality is just different from yours. And then that opens up to show a butterfly which I think is meant to be the blue boy, I forget his name. And then down here then you forgot the eyeshadows, so I'll just take this out. So on this palette you get 20 eyeshadows and each row represents a different character. Um, so the first row represents Alice, the second row represents the Mad Hatter, this row represents Marana, which is the White Queen, I'm pretty sure. This row represents Elizabeth, which is the Red Queen, and this row represents Time, which is a new character in the new movie. You also get this little brush on in here. So that is the palette. This costs £43 or $60. So if you want to find out how to get this colourful, cool makeup tutorial using the new Through the Looking Glass Alice in Wonderland palette, then be sure to keep on watching. Hello, so today we're going to be using the Urban Decay Alice in Wonderland palette to create this blue turquoise halo eye with some glitter. Um, and I will be on FaceTime to my cousin, so that's who's talking, it's not like some random. -er. So this is just the eyeshadows of the palette. I probably have showed the full palette uh, in the intro, but this is all the shades. I'm utterly obsessed with this palette. So we're going to be using most the, the shades in this palette today and I think I'm using like one other black eyeshadow and then the glitter obviously. So the first shade I'm going to take is Reflection and it's just the kind of perfect transition shade. It's like very similar to Peach Smoothie and you know them type of shades from Makeup Geek. It's really building up the intensity in the eye and the crease with this Aweva Lux Soft Diviner Brush or 227. And then I'm going to go on with the shade Chessboard, which is just kind of like a kind of neutral brown, but more kind of on the warm side, but it's pretty neutral. Now I'm going to go on with the shade Hatter which is a kind of bright green shade. I'm just gonna blend this onto the crease. I want that they kind of mix all the blue colors together. Since I've been obsessed with blue eyeshadows. Talk to for days. Yes, red laps. Get with it, girl. Now I'm gonna take the shade Heads Will Roll and just sort of the same place that we placed the shadow before. And just blending it about under the crease. And because my eyes are hooded, I go a little bit above it. And then going in with a little bit of Metamorphous. And just kind of buffing at them as well. And now we're going to go on with my favourite shade, which is the shade Bandersnatch, which is the dragon. And we're just going to put this in the outer corner and the inner corner. And we're just going to lightly bring it through the crease again with the Alice in Wonderland brush. As we'll roll in. There is a lot of like duochrome shades in this palette and I'm pretty obsessed with it. Now I'm just going to pack the shade Lolly all over the length space. Hi. 
This is one of them dual kung shades. In the pan, it looks like a very, just like a inner corner kind of shade. And then when you put it on to the lid, it comes off like a purpley hue. Now, since I can't find my glitter glue, I'm gonna take some eyelash glue. And yes, this is safe. It's just harder to get off. I'm just gonna pat that over the area where I'm gonna put the glitter for. And just sort of lightly fade it out to the edges so that it ain't as blunt. Can you believe this? I'm using like them sponge applicators to put the glitter on. I'm such a disgrace. Oh, the glitter by the way is the Ben Nye Silver Glitter. Is I'm just going to apply some of the Hatter shade, which is the green shade, and to the inner corner. Now I'm just going to apply this white eyeliner from Rummel to the water. I like to set that eyeliner with like a white shadow just because it makes it more pigmented because it don't have the next jumbo white pencil and it's just going to set it in place. And don't worry if shadow gets in your eye, you're not going to die. It might feel like it sometimes, but you're not. Now for the lower lash line, I'm going to take the shade Hatter. Go check my cousin out, she's on the recent episode of The X Factor. Oh, and um, sorry, I'm taking the shade Bandersnatch now. I'm just taking that closer to the lash line. Now I'm just going to take a matte black shade and I'm just going to take it really close to the lash line on the top. And then underneath. And now since that glitter has dried, I'm just going to take the shade Lily again. And I'm just going to go over that glitter with that shade. And then again, I'm going to take some more eyelash glue and just put some of that in my inner corner. And then take in some of that glitter, same silver glitter. And do expect your house to be covered in glitter. You use a glitter like this. Now I'm going to take the Too Faced Better Than Six mascara and apply that to my top lashes. And now I'm going to take the L'Oreal Miss Manga Mega Volume Mascara for the bottom lashes. I'm going to go now. It looks so funny. I swear to God, I'm not wonky eyed. <laughs> I'm going to go now. Uh, do my face. Oh, so bad. And then. I will be back for the lips. Okay, so now my base is done and I'm gonna do my lips. Use that like shade Lily for my highlight. And it's so cool, like it's like a purpley kind of dual chrome shade. So first to line my lips, I'm gonna use the shade or this primer lip liner, which is one line. And then I'm going to take the shade Ravishing from MAC. And this is the final look. Pretty kind of obsessed to be honest. So I hope you enjoyed this look and stay tuned for more videos and subscribe and like. Bye!